guys, how are you? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make butter coffee, which is kind of exactly what it sounds like, only not quite what you might expect. It is true that it is coffee that has butter in it, but the type of butter that you use is going to be very important for how your coffee is going to taste and how it's going to function for you. So let's just get started and I'll show you what I have here on my counter. I'm going to start off. Just got a nice hand towel. This can just help me clean up any messes and I'm also going to use it to put over the top of my blender when I use the blender so that nothing um, splats out of the top. I've also got a butter knife, a teaspoon, my bag of coffee filters, And we're just going to be using one coffee filter today, of course. I've also got my mug over there um, that already has some filtered water poured into it. So um, I'll let that sit there. I've got my blend, the top of my blender over there with um, its own top that goes there. I've also got my sugar. And the sugar is optional. You don't have to add in the sugar. I just like to because I like my coffee sweet. Um, I'm not sure how it affects the functionality of the butter coffee, but I like to use it and I've had no problems with it. So our next ingredient is going to be um, organic extra virgin coconut oil. I'll just go ahead and open up for you and show you. So that's what it looks like and I've kind of already used a tablespoon of it yesterday. My next ingredient is just going to be some ground coffee beans. Um, you can use any variety, um, but for the purpose of butter coffee, uh, you're going to want some that is caffeinated, so not, not decaf. So I've just got a breakfast, breakfast blend here of um, freshly ground coffee that I received about a week ago. I have used it already and it tastes great, so I'm really excited to drink the coffee today. And next, of course, is going to be our butter. So, the type of butter that you're going to use is going to be really important. Um, I use a butter called Kerrygold that you can purchase Trader Joe's or Whole Foods, places like that, that's going to have kind of the um, more options for you. Um, I tried looking for this type of butter in like a normal, um, just like a regular grocery store and they did not have them at several that I tried. So I do recommend um, seeking out a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods to find the Gary Gold butter. And the reason why you're going to want that kind or something like it is because you want to use grass-fed butter um, for the butter coffee um, and also organic if you can if you can get your hands on it um, and this butter is also going to be unsalted so what you might expect from hearing butter coffee is going to be like you might expect like a saltiness to it but really, since the butter is unsalted, it's just much more of a creaminess, actually. And 
it tastes really great. You end up having kind of like a nice foam on top of the coffee like you would with a latte and it's really cool. Um, so I'll just kind of pan the camera over and show you what else I got over here. So I just have the bottom of my blender and then the parts for my coffee maker. So we can get started now that I've showed you everything show you guys how to make this coffee. Okay, so we're gonna start off by assembling our coffee maker. I've got all my parts right here. Place it in your coffee maker. Alright, so your next step is going to be to add in your coffee grounds. to do just two table, uh, tablespoons. least you're going to want to plug your coffee maker in and begin the process. Okay, so now that that's started, we can set that aside.
So we're gonna get our coffee. Um, we're gonna get our blender ready for our coffee. So before I do this, let me just kind of explain. Um, so the concept of butter coffee is you just brew coffee um, that has caffeine in it, and you're gonna blend it with butter and coconut oil. Usually it's about um, one cup of coffee, one tablespoon coconut oil, and one tablespoon butter. I also add in a few teaspoons of sugar and a little bit of milk, um, just because I like it to be extra um, sweet and creamy. That's just how I like my coffee, but that's totally your preference. Um, and also, if you've never had coconut oil before, you might want to start out with half the amount. So, um, you can just start out with half of a tablespoon of coconut oil to, um, to brew your first uh, butter coffee. But I do recommend going with uh, the full tablespoon of the butter. Um, it's just going to taste really good. Um, and again, the reason why you're using the grass-fed butter is because the cows that it comes from, they're being fed grass, obviously, as opposed to um, other feeds that can contain, you know, antibiotics, chemicals, pesticides, etc. Um, they're just getting grass, and the actual proteins in their milk and butter that's produced are going to be a little bit different, a little more, a bit more energizing than your standard run-of-the-mill um, plain butter. Um, it also actually has kind of a different texture than butter. It has like a lower melting point, I've noticed. Because even when I keep it in the fridge, um, and you, I go to take it out, it's actually, when I cut it, it almost feels like it's melted already, even after being out of the fridge for only a couple seconds. Um, so I can only imagine if you were to leave it out all the time, like, if you wanted to put it on toast or something, but it must get really soft. So I'll go ahead and show you it. Okay, so the reason why I have it in this container is because it normally actually comes in kind of like a foil wrapper, and I'm broke, so I usually just keep it in this container. But I'll show you what I mean. Honestly, it, e it even has like a buttery smell to it, like more so than normal butter. But it's just so easy to cut into and spread, even though this just came out of the so the purpose of this butter coffee is going to be to extend the effect of the caffeine in the coffee as you drink it. Not only is it going to have a nice creamy taste to it, um, and it's going to be delicious, but it's also going to extend the effect of that caffeine for longer so that you're able to focus more, feel more energized, and then it also almost eliminates um, that effect a caffeine crash. So if you're kind of prone to drinking coffees and then a few hours later having that coffee crash, this might be a great option for you because honestly, I've had it, you know, I've tried it um, for a couple months now and it truly does give you that long lasting focus, which is really cool. Um, you can also substitute, I've heard, um, this butter coffee, you can substitute it for your morning breakfast. It is really filling to drink, and I'm usually not that hungry in the mornings, so that is something that I like to do. Oh, it sounds like our coffee is about to finish. Sorry if that's a little bit loud. go ahead and cut a tablespoon of this butter. Because it's kind of a different shape, um, you're just going to want to do about a centimeter width of this butter. And just cut that. Yeah, and it's already soft right now, so it might be getting a little tough to get out of this container.
So look how yellow that is. Ooh, I don't want it to fall off my knife. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the blender. Okay, so we're actually all set with our butter now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the fridge after I get this last little bit into the blender. which is, of course, an optional step, um, is going to be to add in our sugar. is optional. If you don't like your coffee to be as sweet, you can totally skip this step. Now last but not least, we're going to add in our, our organic extra virgin coconut oil. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of that, but if you haven't tried coconut oil before, I do recommend doing half a tablespoon for your first time. It can take a couple um, tries to get used to the coconut oil, but I promise it does have a great taste and it's going to make the coffee really smooth. About a tablespoon. Coconut oil is a solid at room temperature, so that's why it's not as oily as you might expect. So once your ingredients are all set, you've got your coconut oil, your butter, and your sugar optional in your blender, then we can go ahead and add in the coffee. So I'm just going to go over here and turn off my coffee maker. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this in. So now 
course you're also going to want to secure your top onto it. So now we are all set to pour. I'm just going to go ahead and take this off of its base. smooth um, creamy coffee with a nice thick foam on top. 